What's up, roommates? It's your boy Kyle, and I'm here at the 2018 MTV Movie Awards. Y'all, these interviews is popping. They lit. Stay tuned, because they coming straight at you. Ow. What's going on, yo? It's your boy Lil Real Howard. Right now, you entering the shade room. What up, what up? It's your girl, Justina Valentine. I'm stepping into the shade room. So for all you shady hoes, this is the MTV Music and TV Awards. Let's go. What up, world? It's me, Quincy, and you're tuned in to the shade room. We got Uncle Drew, June 29th, and then we got my own show, my own sitcom, Rail, on Fox. Starts this September, man. I'm very excited, man. I can't wait for y'all to see the show. Okay, now I know you're good friends with Tiffany, yeah. so I got to ask. Do you tell her any of your personal business or do you keep it to yourself? She knows all my personal business. That's the thing about it. Y'all, everybody thinks she airing out people's personal business. She's just airing out stuff that publicly happens. So some of this stuff is just re really crazy. And she's a storyteller, which is weird now. We thought people would stop inviting her to parties. People would now invite her to parties all the time. Like, so it's people who don't have a lot of relevance no more. Like, Tiffany, come to my party. I'm going to have somebody punch somebody in the face and you tell somebody. Uh, <laughs> That's what people do. It's kind of insane. Hey, what up, y'all? I'm Trevor Jackson. I'm stepping into the shade room. Peace. Peace to the planet. Charlemagne the God here, and I just stepped inside the shade room. Shade room. What's happening? You know, I love the shade room. You know why? Because the comments on the shade room keep your black ass humble. All right? Now, Superfly is out in theaters. Yes. What's been the reaction you've been getting from people since it's been out? It's been amazing. I think the best reaction is when I get, like, an older guy who's like, yo, man, I saw the original. I don't want to say it, but you did that motherfucker justice. That's the best feeling in the world because they were people that really connected to the original and uh, I never wanted to redo the original I just want to do my own version for today's generation and hopefully they love it just as much speaking of original were you nervous about coming in and taking on this role um, I'm, ner I'm nervous about anything I do I just because I put so much pressure on myself and I want to be the best version of myself but yeah I just tried to focus on on whatever I was feeling at the moment and if I thought about that too much it might have got me out of character so. Uh, my album, well, I just put out Rough Jazz Part 1, but I'm putting out number 2 this year, since September. And um, yeah, writing writing everything, just trying to get back into it. Anytime I'm not filming, I'm recording, so cool. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Romeo Miller. I'm stepping into the shade room. You know what it is, no limit. What up, pops? Uh -huh. What's up, everyone? This is Kyrie Irving, stepping into the shade room. Hey, y'all, we got Chloe and Holly Yards in the shade room. It's lit. So I have to ask you guys, Cronish was a huge success. It was a... It was a hit. What's your response to that? Oh, wow. Well, the energy on set with all of our friends who are like our family now, it was incredible. So I think we all knew it was going to be something special based off the energy. So when a bunch of beautiful people get together, you know, you know something amazing is going to happen. Yeah. Oh, now, I have to ask you ladies, just because the roommates want to know and I want to know. So in real life, would you have chosen Cash, Luca, or Aaron? I think Zoe made a good decision choosing Luca because they had chemistry and they connected with their art, and I think that's something really important. Yeah, I would have to agree. You know, they were all good choices. Yeah. Okay. I think she chose the brightest. She chose the yeah. yeah. Okay, now you ladies are opening up for Beyonce on the U.S. leg of her On The Run tour. What can fans like me expect when we show up? Oh my goodness, it's definitely going to be fun. It's like a family reunion with Rock Nation and Parkwood, us and DJ Khaled and B&J, and, and it's going to be so much fun. I love their album, Love Is Everything, that just dropped today, and it's going to be a good time. Yeah, we're just going to give it our all. Y'all, look at these outfits. It is so bomb, okay? It is Queen EJ Johnson stepping into the shade room, giving you life for the children. What's up, guys? This is your girl Chanel West Coast, and you're chilling with the Shade Room. Oh, we got Romeo stepping into the Shade Room. Shade room? Yeah, you know, we keep it lit up in here. I want no shade. No shade. Nah, no shade. Now, I've been watching Growing Up Hip Hop, and the roommates want to know, and I want to know, what is going on with you and Angela? The whole world want to know that, huh? <laughs> the thing in life, me and Angela were great friends. And I think when you watch people that's truly great friends on TV, you want them to naturally get together, just like watching your favorite show. But it's one of those things where we just got to live our life. You know, she just had a baby. And if you've ever been in a relationship, you never want to jump into something after you just came out of something. So I'm a patient dude. You know, we got great chemistry. You got to tune, tune into the show, though. Tune into Growing Up Hip Hop. You want to see what's going down with me and Ange. If you want to know who's sliding in them DMs, you know. Yo, what's up? This is Lil Yachty. Share with my name, all the pretty Instagram, all the bitches who follow me and uh, have my DMs. And if I DM you, DM me back. Don't leave me in there waiting, baby. Ah! Hi, this is Tessa Thompson, and I, I'm reluctantly stepping into the shade room. Be nice, y'all. We got Kyrie stepping into the shade room. 
Now you know I gotta ask the question that everybody wanna ask. Yesterday we posted your response. You posted something about Kaylani, about how yeah. she didn't cheat on you and y'all she wasn't the reason why y'all broke up. What made you decide right now, okay, I'm gonna do this today after so long? Um, well I, I just really started um, dialing in the effect that it that it really had and um, you know I don't ever wanna see any person go through it, let alone a female, black female in today's society. It doesn't deserve it and um, I feel like on my behalf it was, you know, time to step up and really take responsibility even if it wasn't my choice of what happened but it did happen and um, you know we're in a digital age where people just continue to bash other people for doing great things and that gets overshadowed by another person and I don't ever want that to be the case ever in anything that I do I have so much love for this world and I'm all about peace and harmony man and that girl she's amazing she does incredible stuff I mean so you know it's one of my close friends so I thought it was really really important just to make sure that I had her back in all this so were people like sliding in your DMs, hitting you up, saying mean things about her? No, no. I, I think that uh, you know she, she kind of made it clear to me that it was having an effect, like a real deep effect. And I don't, like I said, I don't ever want to see anyone going on my behalf, wearing my jersey to her shows, disrupting it. It, you know, we can't necessarily control what other people do, but I feel like if you take a stance, and especially like I said, for a female to go through something like that, I don't ever want it to happen ever. So. Left, left, left. Matter of fact, shade room know how I do. I walk in the church and I kneel on the flu. I'm like, hold on, this ain't facetious. I'm in the church and I pray to Jesus. I know they hear it, they wanna get near it. All up to me, it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and it got kinda scary. On my knees, pray to the Virgin Mary. Liza, and she's spitting that beatbox. Justina Valentine with the heat rocks. Matter of fact, I know they can't move me. In the church, I be watching my movies. On the TV, no my screen shade room yeah you know i mean when i'm on that scene no other bitch be ripping the uh -oh. top you know matter of fact yeah we be ripping a lot me and liza on your tv screen turn it on we gonna keep going because we really the bomb and after that you could call the mom i know she really getting hot but we really young uh i'm with the priest in confession and tv yeah you know it's a blessing matter of fact you know i'm in the great room shout out to the people shade room yeah and you know we really killing it liza in the back and you know she really feeling it uh, we gon' pray one time when I bring y'all to church one time in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. We gon' bring them there one time. Justina Valentine and Liza Koshi, and you know we spent the fun rods. Shade Room, we gon' get that award, and we up in the building, and yeah, you know it's for. I'm about to go, I'm gonna tell y'all bye, cause my girl Liza, girl, she about to die. <laughs> Y'all gonna talk shit cause I had like, but your favorite's not coming off the top shade room, let's go. Hey, thank you.